No way. Yep. No so. way. This is, uh, well, oh, this is the fanzine. Promethean. Oh, Promethean Enterprises. And they reproduced them like that. But these are the actual signs. They were here when we moved in. Really? Yes. What? They were, they were on top of that bookcase in that what? corner. This, when this we had moved been in. an antiquarian yeah. bookstore. Yeah. That's incredible. And the guy apparently had these. It's not a complete set. It's not it's a about complete half. set. And there's a couple of duplicates. And there are a couple of really ratty ones. One of which, fortunately, like is a duplicate. One. But these were printed to uh, be put all bus. along the interior of a bus. Yeah. Oh, um, up above your head. Yeah. yeah. A bus yeah. I wish nice. I'd uh, written. Uh, get yeah. over here. Get him. Get him. Get him. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Like we don't have that one. And then it says K Sam on it. Yes. And so Dusty Street is broadcasting from somewhere in like Michigan or Detroit or someplace? No idea. Bless her heart. Huge influence on there. Yeah. How wonderful. And they were here when you came? They were. Yes. Who did that, Alice? Stedman. Oh, yes, I see. Yeah. Right, can I see it? Just a little added bonus. <laughs> yeah. I should ask Spain to sign this. I'm coming down. I'll hear what you We are trying to get a scope. Oh, nice. Oh, oh my the God. Red yes. Yeah. Yeah. The red now is fried. Yeah, it's officially the rule. Oh, now it's implementation <laughs> issues. Yeah. Well, I've sold two or three this year already. No, it really was not. We're, we're well, I haven't looked up to the guy. I mean, high grade. I mean, the thing is, there's a lot of them. I mean, high grade's like 50 or 60, I think. Yeah, I sold the one on eBay. A really nice one. For about 40. Mm. Well, let's see. Yeah, yeah. How many thousands of percent? Increase in value is that from right. $25. Sure. Yeah. Even a low grade copy will sell for $10. Mm -hmm. if, it's trash. As long as it's, nice. if it's trash, yeah. as long as it's complete. Yeah, I love that. I've seen that in other, in other papers too, that, that piece of art. I've seen that somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was in yeah. Kurt's yeah. Let's go, man. I'll talk to you later. Bro. All right, brother. Can we call tomorrow? Oh, okay. What's up? All right, later. So how, how's the class going? Is Diamond Dave still alive? Dave is still alive and still on George, campus yeah. and still yeah. elected to student yeah. government, yeah. which he's probably been doing, what, for his fifth decade now, probably? He's, yeah. he's as old as the, the school's 75 years old, and he's about that, right? So he's good. Yeah, I, I, I just see him at the flea market, you know. He lives in that little complex all covered with graffiti. Yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, he's still around. You're going to do courses. Reading, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's a real track. Oh, another reading. I'm going to keep yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't want to block your view. I just don't want to block your view. I heard him already. No, no. Pull out whichever one you want. Yeah. You know, it's taking a I didn't bring it in the circle. Okay. Some of those slides. You guys see each other now. He's a phenomenal resource. He's a fascinating challenge in the classroom, but he's a phenomenal resource. You ever taught? Make sure you get a good one. No. Okay. You could picture it though. <laughs> so it, it took hey, me I'm, about I'm a month to figure one. out exactly, and there would just be times when I'd know I could just <laughs> yeah, him talk for ten that, minutes you know, and he could right. do it better than me. Know, and other times where I had to guys. have him defer to another time. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah, he's a guy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
miss those days. Is there anything on the auction table that anyone's halfway interested in? Yeah, because whatever doesn't go tonight, we're going to put out on eBay for the for the fund. There's a uh, couple of Guy Caldwell originals. I believe this is from Inner City Romance, number five. And the doll original from number two. The anonymous Bo Disney donated this. He left earlier. Some of my uh, porn star friends have met Wilson over the years. Uh, Terry Weigel and Wilson signed this book when it premiered and she just moved to Florida and they flew me and Wilson. You didn't want to go. You could have gone to that show. You said, I don't want to fucking go to Florida. But they flew us out and we had Terry there. She just moved there with her husband. So I got great pictures of her and Wilson. I'm gonna, I'll email you some of them. Like doing goofy stuff. I've, I've, saved, I've saved a lot of really good stuff for the right time. You know, stories and pictures. That's right. So it's 150. 150? Yeah, so 150. It's a cool number, but it's Banal. Okay. Banal sign anything here. Okay. And, so uh, got his, his hidden kind of kind of ones he sold it. Oh, you sign stuff. That's quite Well, until I, I couldn't get a crumb signature until the damn contract. Uh -huh. This is like a lean would like endorse the check. The contract itself was. For was Snatch. The yeah, oh, wow. yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, CGC donated um, the slabbing of the price guide. Well, I could figure what's the stupidest, most useless thing is to encase a price guide. Because the whole point of these is to keep them sealed forever. Mm -hmm. So when I was designing this, I, I said, "How big are your? Do you have a big enough well to stick it in?" And then uh, they slabbed a bunch of them for me to donate to the various uh, mm -hmm. organizations. So CBLDF's going to get one, and Friends of Lulu okay. and Hero. But the first one's going to the Wilson Fund. It's a 9A, oh, wow. and I signed it, and Steve Crompton. Mm -hmm. He did a production with me, Creator Demi, mm -hmm. and uh, Brian Taggi, who uh, wrote the Turtles article for me. Okay. Because they were the only creators I could ra rally up at the time. There you go. And, the, and then this what, is... What do you... What do you well, this the... I mean, we're selling the regular... I mean, this is the... them for 50, normally, okay. you know, is, is how those I go. I mine today. Yep. I didn't right. even ask for a discount either. All right. Buy one though, right there. And this one okay. is the only one on the planet signed by Spain, Wilson, and Robert Williams. He uh, signed a bunch for us and mailed them up for the auction. Here's one by us. There's, mm -hmm. I got a few other Williams. Mm -hmm. Well, we're probably on eBay. I mean, whatever doesn't go tonight, we're going to put out on eBay. For sure. I don't want to do a hard luck thing on that. I want to do this again. I was Hippie talking Con? to him. I yeah. want to do HippieCon again. That's right. Steve was the producer of HippieCon. Uh -huh. I want to do that again. Yeah, yeah. you were talking. I think it's time, you know. Well, yeah. So this is signed by all the, uh, the the first underground convention in 20 years when we did it, and it's signed by Spain and Bodie, all well, pretty much everyone on the, you know, Bodie, Spain, S. Clay Wilson, all three Hernandez brothers, mm -hmm. yeah. Gilbert, Jaime, and Mario. I got the trifecta one year. I had to fly two of them in, but I got the trifecta. Steve Crompton, Kieran Dwyer. Who did this, mm -hmm. and me and my ex-partner Pitts, and we got oh, Pepper so Alexandria's yeah. belly dancing yeah, show, yeah, and she's there. there so yeah, these I have not sold. Do on these the come from you? Um, no. No, okay. No, yeah. yeah. And um, I get to put these on the open market. Even Eric Sack wants a low number, but I, I've just been donating them okay. to various causes over the years. So, so that's kind of cool. There are only a few of those done. And let's see, John Thompson donated a couple of signed pieces, his early Book of Dreams. It's got an introduction by Robert Anton Wilson. Yeah. I've read this cover to cover. Very cool. Yeah, it is. It's a special, you know, what happened on this date in, in the U.S. And he did these limited signed editions of his Cyclops comics. Kukawai is Cyclops in, in Greek. And he got a little special signing there, and he put his thumbprint there. Uh, and this sure. little Mandala stuff. He's really, really a trip to deal with. I really enjoy him. So, wh whatever happened to him? He's sort of... He's around. You know, he's he does... He's down in Carmel. And he, he travels between Carmel, Monterey, and, and San Jose. His wife, uh, Judy, is a brilliant artist in her own right. I'm glad to hear that. I want to get both of them back into print. He never hears it. Um, and so he's... Uh, you know, he's in these various art collections that they've just put him in, you know, books, you know, psychedelic art of the 60s. He's actually got a 225-page book on the history of Carmel that he's doing right now, he was telling me about. 
Oh. So you're going to email me when that happened. But yeah, he's got some pretty hardcore fans. I got one guy, a John Thompson fan, who every time he comes back from a deployment, he calls me up and says, you got any more John Thompson stuff? So at WonderCon, I put him on the phone with Thompson and blew his mind. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Was he lives on Santa Cruz or something? Yeah, he says San Jose and Monterey and Carmel. Uh -huh. His mom's still alive. And she's down in Monterey. Uh -huh. And then his wife, Judy, has got a place in San Jose. Uh -huh. So uh, luckily we can see him fairly frequently that way because they don't have to come up that way. Now let's see. So it's from, the, from my porn star contingent. This is uh, from my uh, first uh, porn star comic and it's signed by Felicia herself. And uh, wow. this is donated by Extreme Comics, some new buddies of ours. Uh, so what does she look like in person? Like? Pretty much that. Pretty much that. And she's done she signings with Spain. Is enough that she looks good? Oh, yeah. No, she does. I mean, she's might be one of those people that if you completely dress so you can't see her at all. Is she sort of... No, know, they, know, they know how to... They, they know they're always on when they're at a convention, so... Sure. So she's done a couple shows. In, in, and Ari here, my next porn star comic... She and Wilson did it in San Diego together in 2005, and Robert Williams was jealous because he had to sit next to uh, Ron Turner, and, and Williams got to sit next to her. That's cruel. Now, he's trying to get a picture of you and this nice picture. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. assuming I raise uh, five to eight grand between now and January, this will be out in January. Okay. <laughs> At the porn show in Vegas. Oh, All right, good. <laughs> this is going directly to YouTube. Yep. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's right, Inari Vox. RealInariVox.com. And then uh, Larry Todd donated this. That's his print. Uh, I saw a lot of these, actually. People, especially the kids. Kids love this print. Uh, Moby Gleep. Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And these are donated by the DiCarlo uh, estate. I worked with uh, DiCarlo before he passed away. This is a limited signed uh, print uh, with a certificate signed by Josie, his widow. That's her Josie and the Pussycats. When Dan created that, it was named after his wife. <laughs> So yeah, I've worked with uh, artists in their 90s all the way down to their teens. It's a trip. People love comics. That's the beauty about comics, you know. It's very democratic. You know, when I was a kid, I could walk up and meet Trina or Sherry Flanagan or, you know, Ted Richards. And they were cool people. They corrupted me early. <laughs> So did you grow up in San Francisco? Mm -hmm. What neighborhood? Well, um, I guess it's called Pacific Heights or about Washington, 3324 Washington. My grandparents were down a few blocks there. My parents got divorced when I was about four. And then down, uh, so I went with my mom and stepdad to Atherton. Before, and then they sold before the prices got really good, unfortunately. And then my dad was in the city for another 10 years, and then he moved to Hawaii. So pretty much, you know. <laughs> and then, you know, going to Comics and Comics, you know, on yeah. Columbus yeah. Avenue. Yes. That was my main store there. Yeah, no, some of my first memories were the Summer of Love. The uh, hippies parked down on our street for like a few days in the van, and like my mom was all weirded out. And so she sent my dad down to talk to them. And, oh, they're cool, they're cool. But yeah, it's. Uh, then I used to, you know, on Broadway. They would have like, undergrounds and some stuff there, and they had like a spirit, like the first, you know, because Jen's Kitchen did a couple of spirit undergrounds. And so I said, the spirit, cool, you know, I saw the spirit in the Jules Feiffer book. I said, oh, no, you, your dad has to buy this for you. What's the spirit? Oh, it's his adult zone. Well, well, have you seen his collected, uh, collected the Dennis Kitchen? He has all these jams with the... No, I haven't seen the, the volume yet. I saw the cover, though. Yeah. We, 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 uh, Dennis was my agent for uh, Che. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, I got him and Frank Stack out to Motor City a couple years ago. We had a blast because he you know, hadn't been out as an artist for like forever. Oh, yeah. So that was cool. I, had him, I let him ship some boxes to my cousin, my cousin's dental office and got him to the convention for him and, and everything. But yeah, that was like the only time I really got to hang with him socially and relax, you know. Without having to worry about shows and stuff. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. But no, he's he's done well by a lot, a lot of y'all, for sure. Well, you know Paul Buell. I want to totally meet him. I've just become I've been started reading up on him, and I introduced myself to G Gerard Vanderloon on Facebook. So now I'm hooked up with him. You know, talk about the early guys who did all the the writing. But yeah, no, I'd, I'd love an intro to him. 
I got a book, uh, Underground Press in America, of here's I'm going to read. What, what, you know, in shade, the first, uh, you know, the first panel is this guy saying, you know, who's this guy? Who's this guy? Uh, you keep seeing this picture all over. And the guy says, well, this is, that's Ernesto Che Guevara. And then it launches into 100 pages. <laughs> and then the final thing is the guy's sitting, uh, you know, sit, sitting in a restaurant. And Dennis said, he said, the only guy who would do that is Paul Buell. <laughs> <laughs> That nobody else would do that. Just you ask him a question, and he would give you a hundred page worth. What about you? You do the same thing. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, he, he had some of those at his show in Brooklyn, and officially, it's not him. So we're gonna split. Right. Yeah, made a bad. No, nope. well, uh, thank you for coming. That was fun. Yeah. Sorry, it wasn't it? Too much, but the right people were here. Yeah, the right people, man. Exactly. Nice. Now the right people then. The rabid crowd. Yeah. But I will come and visit you and take you out to lunch. You too, Susan, if you want. Yeah. I'm going to bring a low number for, I'm going to bring a low number for Steve. Okay. And then, yeah, one of the few ones signed by you and Crum. Okay. Steve. Yeah. Okay. It's beautiful. Don't worry. A few hundred people are going to see you on YouTube in a, oh, okay. in a few Very days. Cool. Thanks, Ray. Right. <laughs> well, we're going to get Ray uh, well, well, behind the table at San Jose. I have a YouTube oh yeah? What's it what's it under? Spain Rodriguez stuff. Oh of course. Does that give you one of those? That's next year's show. Mm -hmm. I think you're already on the guest list. Mm -hmm. So we're really gonna push the underground alley big this year. Okay, Bernie right. Uh, matter of fact I wanna um uh, so we're, we're writing articles instead of sending out press releases. Yeah. Uh, so about Marchish, I want to write a big article on the underground alley comes to you know on what we're doing. Okay. So yeah. I want to make it a bigger part of the show. Yeah, I'm up for that. Yeah. Good. I thought it was a good start last year. You know what yeah, we were yeah. doing, and I liked it. Yeah. So let's Me too. make it bigger. You know. Okay. Like I said, I think you're already on the website. I think you're already. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, the guys who did Comic Car Fan built our website for us this year because they they bought into the show. They liked our show so much. They went, this is the one we want to be part of. And they're in the Google Top 100 websites. I mean, they're like get a million hits a year a month. So they decided they wanted to be part of the show. And the website is like, I, I, we didn't. We didn't have the kind of money to even consider building a website that's as nice. Yeah. Oops, sorry. It's so nice. Oh yeah, well, I'll, I'll yeah. I'll have to check it out. Check it out. It's on the, the things on there. So nice I'll see you soon. Beautiful store. Yeah. Anything you need for Dark Marvel here? Yeah. It's okay. Nice to know. So how much is? Well, thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Tales from the Crypt. You need something? I don't know. It's been up there for so long. Oh, for so long, the store's only been open since mid March. I did March. What this one here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Want me to have a price on it? Um, want me to grab it? You, Are you tall enough? Oh, there you go. Yeah. So you got a higher guy. Here's the step stool. I got right. it. Woo! Here they come. Cool. Did they? Sorry. Did they put a price on it? Oops, sorry. Step stool fainted. Two fifty. Okay. One. Well, okay. I, I but for you. Well, Jim, I did Oh, and you could talk to Jim about it, of course. Okay. That's yeah, that's the starting point. Okay. You, you are like, you know, trade discount. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll, if you want to trade some artwork, you can do Can he reach you? Uh, I'm, uh, both of those have a good Okay. All right. I'll take this up for the next time. Thanks for coming.